Welcome to another edition of News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. American President Donald Trump continues to learn and adjust his professed foreign policies as he learns the ropes in the White House and becoming the president of the most powerful nation on earth, the United States of America, which remains the world's only superpower. One must remember that prior to becoming president, Trump railed against NATO, complained about Russia, complained about China. Now he has embraced NATO, saying it is vital for America's security. That's obvious. He is also cozied up to Communist China. He and the leader of Communist China, Xi Jinping, recently had a one-on-one -on -one summit. Surprisingly, they reached several areas of compromise and mutual understanding. To the credit of both men, they agreed that within 100 days, they will work out some of the problematic issues where it concerns the issue of trade between America and China. The outstanding issue between them at this point seems to be and remains North Korea. Although China does not want a war to break out in this region, it has sent 150,000 military troops to the border it shares with North Korea to plan for all contingencies, quote unquote, to quote the propaganda coming out of Beijing. Trump has said that if China does not work with him to solve the crisis in North Korea, he is prepared to act alone. In response, Trump has dispatched Carrier Group 1 to uh, the peninsula of North Korea. It will remain off there, headed by the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vincent, which has at least 60 attack aircraft and helicopters, accompanied by destroyers, as well as cruise ships and, of course, submarines. Again, Carrier Strike Force 1 has been dispatched from the uh, seas around Singapore to the Korean Peninsula. It is expected to arrive shortly. In the meantime, U.S. Navy SEALs, specifically SEAL Team 6, who are the men who killed Osama bin Laden, they are practicing a decapitation strike in South Korea. It's an open secret. It has been covered in the media, including Daily World, which was one of the first newspapers to break that story about one month ago around mid-March when an article was written by this writer talking about how SEAL Team 6 was preparing a decapitation strike against North Korea's communist leader. Also accompanying SEAL Team 6 are the uh, U.S. Army Delta Force Commandos. They would be in charge of doing some peripheral cleanup, as in securing various weapon sites, as well as eliminating perhaps other senior North Korean military personnel. But the heavy work, or the most important task of eliminating or capturing the leader, or rendering him incapable of harming anyone, or launching a nuclear strike, would of course fall on the U.S. Navy SEALs Team 6.